Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. I'm here checking out the new 2020 Chevy Bolt EV. Now I've already taken it on a thousand kilometer or 621.4 mile uh, challenge just to see how fast it would travel. So check out that video if you have a chance. But I noticed some really interesting quirks about the way this 2020 Chevy Bolt EV charges uh, during that trip and some things just don't add up. I still want to do that. I want to map out this car's charging curve and in order to do that I'm going to need to go to a charger that will actually show it to me and uh, so I'm going to go visit the Oracle. Let's head up to uh, Prunedale, California and check out the Recargo site. Well, that was a bit disappointing. Uh, that's what I get for trying to run and grab dinner while uh, the charging curve is what I expected it to be, right? Uh, this was an exceptional circumstance where it stepped down the, the charge amperage really early for, I, I, for whatever reason, I don't know. Um, but I, I do have logs of the other the other times where it actually was able to maintain the 150, and it does so mostly consistently. Like I said, I it, it, whether it's with the car or with the charger, uh, there's some sort of a breakdown in communication. So when I came back, we were only at 47% battery after you know nearly an hour, right after uh, a little over 50 minutes and it was charging at 100 amps. For us to only get to 47% battery uh, by after 55 minutes, some that it had to be charging at 100 amps for a long time, so I'll have to check the logs for that. Um, but suffice to say that based on what I've seen already, uh, I, I'm very familiar with that basic uh, charging curve below 51 to 55 percent battery and it seems like it it works in a very similar way to the previous model bolt evs where depending on battery temperature is where it starts its taper or step down point uh, and when the battery is cool it will maintain 150 amps all the way up to 55 percent battery but what's unique about the 2020 chevy bolt ev and its new battery that i kind of wanted to showcase is that rather than doing the traditional uh, charge rate step down, once it hits that uh, point where it starts to taper the curve, it actually is a charge curve, uh, very similar to like what Tesla does or uh, what Jaguar has done with their iPace. So it's basically a steady decline uh, in amperage uh, over time and and what that does is rather than have those abrupt step downs it, it maintains a higher rate uh, for an extended period of time basically what this allows you to do is charge to a full battery on a dc fast charger and sort of uh, you know reduce the the pain of doing so because previously with those arbitrary step downs with the bolt ev once you hit 70 percent battery it was gonna take a long, long time and each progressive step down got more and more painful. Uh, and that's why the 2017 to 2019 Bolt EVs take about two and a half hours to charge from empty to full, where the 2020 Bolt EV, based on what I've seen, should take two hours. So basically it's 30 minutes faster. So 
why did GM do this with the charge curve, right? Why did they set it up this way so it's tapering down toward the end? Uh, well, I mean, the obvious answer to that is this is a new battery. It's new battery chemistry. We haven't seen this battery uh, out of GM before. Uh, we don't we don't know much about it, and I have my suspicions that this isn't an interim battery, that it actually is the uh, next generation battery, but they packaged it with the same sort of constraints that the previous model Bolt EVs had. So essentially that means the charging hardware outside of the battery is set up to only handle 150 amps. So that's what you're getting. But I think if that charging hardware were to be upgraded, I actually believe that this battery would probably charge at a peak rate of somewhere between 90 and 100 kilowatts, but it would then taper. And the reason I say that is this battery, the behavior reminds me a lot of what I've seen out of the Tesla Model 3. Uh, the uh, the curse of Victorville, for whatever reason, doesn't matter what kind of planning I do uh, or what kind of forethought I put into it. I always seem to arrive at the Victorville EV Go Charger with less than 3% battery. And when I was returning from my 621.4 mile uh, run with the car, sure enough, I decided to head to the EV Go in Victorville and uh, I only arrived with 2% battery. But when I did, it showed an extremely low pack voltage and the charging took a while before it ramped up. And that's behavior that you also see in Teslas where if you show up with less than 5% battery, like a 2% or 3% battery, it takes a while for it to ramp up before it's at its peak level then it holds its peak level for a short period of time before starting the taper. And that's the behavior that I'm seeing now out of this 2020 Bolt EV battery. So it's very likely that this is the next generation battery with the constraints of the previous generation vehicles hardware. And I think that this battery's charging curve is a bit more intuitive as well because you know, one of the bigger issues that we were running into with new EV owners or even existing EV owners is they kept wanting to charge to 100%, charge to 100%, charge to 100%, and trying to explain to them that no, there's a taper, no, that there's step downs. Um, it, it's more difficult when there are actual step downs than there are when it's a charge taper. and. Again, I know DC fast charging should be reserved for 30 minute to one hour stops, no more than that. But people do, for some reason, wanna know how long it takes to charge from empty to full. Being able to charge from empty to full in two hours is a huge upgrade from two and a half hours, um, especially considering it's more capacity as well. So I, I think overall, it's, it, is, it is an improvement, and I think it's hinting at what we can expect out of future uh, Bolt EVs. And it's possible that GM could retroactively, if it's just a software cap, unlock the 2020 Bolt EV. But if it is a hardware constraint, it's possible that an aftermarket hardware could allow the battery in the 2020 Bolt EV to, like I said, probably charge at a peak rate of 90 or 100 kilowatts, at least for 20 to 30 percent of the battery uh, before it starts to taper uh, the charge rate, and uh, if that's the case, then who knows? Maybe maybe there's an option out there for someone, but who knows how many of these 2020 Bolt EVs will be sold before the 2021 Bolt EV um, is released? So. I'd love to hear what you think, what you think of the new charging rate. Like I said, you're not really losing anything on the bottom end and you're actually gaining uh, some functionality on, on the upper end, like being able to maximize a uh, 125 amp uh, 50 kilowatt charger until like 60% battery when before 
you know, that, that ended at 51 to 55%. So I think there are some, some definite benefits, but I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And uh, thank you for watching.